Hi there, my name's uh, William Byfield and I am Head of Science here at Kings Bangkok. There will be a group of students who love biology or chemistry or physics, but some students, their interest isn't going to lie within science. And I don't take that as a personal insult. In fact, I really enjoy that part of it because we think about, well, how can we make it apply to them? So it's those kind of things and building that personal connection, which means you can hopefully inspire students in science. And even if they're not studying it, they take a little bit of that inspiration with them in the future. For me, it's all about building connections. For any young person to succeed, they need to feel like they're in an environment where they feel supported, respected, and comfortable to make mistakes. So it's about concentrating on building the relationship between the students themselves, but also the relationship between myself and the students. And particularly in science, we also have the lab technicians. So creating that culture of respect is really important to developing a strong classroom. We want every student to be successful. Now, depending on the student, they might need different support or different strategies to help them to achieve that. And so what we have to do is solve that puzzle of why they're finding it challenging and what can we do to support them. So treating every single child as an individual, but making sure that each individual has success. Science is built on a system of peer review, which means challenging and critically analysing data and sources and conclusions. And that is going to be incredibly important as AI continues to develop because students will have to have the skills to be able to discern whether is that a real text and even more, is that a real photo, is that a real video. And I really encourage amongst my students to have a sort of critical mind. It's not about being cynical and not believing anything that doesn't fit within your current thought pattern, but it's having that ability to think, right, well, where is this from? Is this sort of a correct interpretation of what the data says? So for me, science is going to become, the skills within science is going to become so, so important as we enter an age where we might not really be able to believe everything that's written, but also anything that we're seeing in a, in a way that we couldn't have imagined even two or three years ago.